Doug Carr, Scott Anderson, 97 won the ticket. Open lines, 248-539-9797. We just went over the golf numbers uh, and, and the year-by-year breakdown of his contract. And, um, look, it's, it's just, it feels like a two-year window with a lot of cap flexibility. And with a two-year window with a lot of cap flexibility, the question is, do they want to go ahead and can they go ahead and win a Super Bowl? And we're just we're just I'm I'm supposed to do this blind, huh? Yeah, man. Got, right. got, a, got a guest for you. That's some faith. Right, let's let's uh, bring up a guest who joins us here on ninety seven on the ticket. Hello, guest. What's up, guys? Hey. Long time listener, first time caller. How we doing? <laughs> Not as good as you, Jared Goff. Wow. What's going on? You you congratulations on your new contract. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I wanted to come on here and surprise you guys and say hi and thank you guys for all the fun conversations on Tuesdays over the years and hope we can continue to do that. I, I hope so too. Let's go back to the beginning though. Cause when it started and, and the losses were piling up, we're like, this is rough. Poor Jared. He just got here. And can you believe how far you, not only you have come, but the lions have come in your time here. Yeah. yeah I mean, it, it's been hard. Can I believe it? Yes, but it's been hard. It's been um, a lot of hard times, certainly in that first year and, and parts of the second year. But um, the people we have here and the people that um, Dan and Brad have put in place and, and all the teammates and everyone that um, I've been fortunate enough to play with here are the reason why. This has been an incredible whirlwind over the last few weeks. You know, we had all the buildup leading up to the draft, and then literally we're doing our show the night of the draft, uh, we're, we're finishing it up, and then the, the news came that Amon Ross St. Brown signed his contract. And then 10 minutes later, Penny Sewell's deal comes down. We see you guys come out on draft night to, to open it up and and where we are today, and, and now you've got your deal. Can you talk about just how, how crazy of a roller coaster ride this has kind of been over the last few weeks? Yeah, it has been. It really has. I mean, the city was on fire during the draft. That was fun to be down there and be in front of all those fans and, and, and see everyone come out. And um, I think that the, the Detroit's having a, having a pretty fun moment right now, and um, I'm happy to be a part of it. You just said something at the podium, and I mentioned it, uh, and we wanted to get into it in depth, And but that is that you weren't as concerned with maximizing your dollar value as you were with getting a no trade clause. I saw a tweet that said you didn't want to leave Detroit. Could you please talk about the commitment to finishing your career here in Detroit? Yeah, I would, I would love for that to be the case. And um, I think that was my main thing going into the, the contract stuff was, was creating that security and, um, and that commitment um, from both my side and the team side, and, and I think they were on, they were totally on board with it from the get go. It was just a matter of time of hammering out the details and, and getting us to the right spot with with the numbers. But um, yeah, that was something that was was in there from the get go, and and they were on board with. And um, again, I don't, not something that's atypical from quarterback contracts nowadays. I believe everyone puts a no trade clause in there, but yeah, something that was important to me. So you're a real smart guy, but do do you even understand the numbers in the contract? <laughs> Because <laughs> I try to read through it, I'm like, I don't, I don't get it. What did you not get? Well, I, I guess it did like the first this year, 2024. Did they effectively just turn this into a five year deal and rework it as as signing bonus for this upcoming season because the 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 salary the cap, is really your low. Cap yeah, hit the cap went hit down. went down. Right. Well, my yeah. Well, the, the the salary was was different on the last year of the deal, the previous deal. So the salary is now lower for this year on the first year of the new deal. So when the contracts were announced for Amon Ra and Penny Sewell, then there was a report that you guys weren't close. Then Brad Holmes came on this radio station and said he deserves it. It's going to get done. I described myself as antsy. Were you ever antsy in this, in this contract negotiation or did you feel all along it was going to get done? I, I had really good feelings about it from when they initially had their conversations um, in the beginning of the off season and, it, 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 it did feel like just a matter of time. And again, we were all on the same page on like what was important to me and, and what was important to them and um, understood where, where flexibility on my side needed to be for them and, 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 and for flexibility on their side needed to be for me. So it was just a matter of time. And that's how all these deals work is um, it takes time. And, and sometimes the quarterback ones take a little bit longer. And, um, but we are in May and uh, I'm glad this didn't drag out um, into training camp. What's this off season like for you? I mean, you, you've gone through this before where you got a, a big contract extension uh, earlier in your career. How did, how does this compare to the, to that off season? 
yeah, I mean they're they're both incredible and um but yeah, this this one's a little bit different and 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 very special to me because of uh what we went through as a team and and what I went through um as a player certainly in 21 and and parts of 22 and uh coming out and being able to be rewarded like this is awesome, but I think, you know, growing growing up and maturing and becoming a better player is is really the the win in all of this and um becoming closer with my fiance and, and our relationship growing and all that is, is, is so much greater and, and, and more important, but this is a cool day for me and, and my family. Okay. Well, we want you to do what we all do, which is evaluate the draft. Uh, you guys <laughs> went out and well, I guess the off season in general, you add Carlton Davis to the secondary. You add Amik Robertson to the secondary, you draft two corners. Uh, when you see this commitment to improving the pass defense, does that check a box for you is like, just like, Hey, we're, we're more prepared to win a Super Bowl now. Yeah. I think they've done a great job. I think they've done a great job every year drafting players and, and it's not a perfect science. There are, there are guys that don't end up panning out, but I would say our guys have a pretty good hit rate right now and, and, and do a good job of, of finding the players that fit um, our culture and, and who we are and what we need. And um, it's so hard to tell right now. I haven't been on the field with any of the rookies yet. They're still kind of on their own program right now. So um, in about three years, I'll be able to give you guys a good answer on, <laughs> on the draft this year. And I know everyone likes to, wants to know right now if it's a good draft, but I don't know. I'll, we'll find out. But, uh, yeah, I think those uh, the two kids, uh, two corners we took are, are going to be great players, and um, I'm excited to, to see them on the field soon. Have you had a chance to start? I know you're not with the rookies, but the, the the veteran players. Have you already started some like off season workouts? Hey, you know, meet me out in California or wherever it is that you're going to have some workouts, and we'll spend the weekend together and throw the ball around. Have you done some of that already? We did a little bit of that in the spring, in like March um, before OTAs. Now, now we're out here and, and working out together um, throughout the week. So we're not, you know, going back to California right now. But we've had we've had good good sessions out here. We've had some good practices and. Um, Guys look good. Guys are excited, and I think you can tell that um, the motivation is is to win a Super Bowl, and that's all that matters now. Offensively, guys can get better, but you lose Josh Reynolds from your wide receiving core. Uh, talk about the guys that you expect to step up and help fill that void. Yeah, well, I think you know a guy that may get forgotten sometimes is Khalif Raymond, and, and all he's done for for us as a team since I got here and. He's always been steady and reliable, and, and, and he'll have a role in there as well. And then I think um, Donovan and, and, and AG um, will will fill out that role as well in some ways and, and, and do their thing. And um, we'll see how that pans out here over the next you know, few months or so. But, um, yeah, Josh, we'll miss Josh. Josh was a great player and wish him the best in Denver. But um, we feel confident in the guys that um, will need to step into that void. I think fans right now are starting to feel something that we, we frankly have never felt, and that is that the team is building towards something. We see the growth from three wins to nine wins to 12 wins and then add two playoff wins and an NFC championship bid and all that. Do you guys feel that too? And obviously the ceiling is the Super Bowl, but is that also the expectation? Uh, yeah, that's our goal. Um, and, our, and our standards continue to rise and, and our um, internal expectations have always been that. I don't think that's wavered, but I think, yeah, I, I think the focus and the intensity of, of even like right now in May and April um, has been picked up a little bit and guys know what we're looking at. We know, we know, we know who's on the team. We know what positions everyone's in. We know what everyone's role is and um, we know what the ultimate goal is and everyone's falling in line and, and knows, knows where to be and, and how to get there. And it's, it's an exciting time for sure, but um, there's still a ton of work to do and, by no means will we show up week one and be the same team we were last year at the end of the year. We've got a lot of work to do to get to that point, and um, we know that, and, and that is the challenge and also the fun part. All right, Jerry, we do something with the listeners. This is the final thing for me. We do something from the listeners when the lottery comes around and people buy tickets called Would You Buy, and it's Would You Buy This If You Hit The Lottery. And now that you've signed a, a healthy contract, I'm going to throw a couple of the Would You Buy things at you, all right? Okay. All right, here we go. Would you buy a walk-in cooler in your new home? Will you get a giant walk-in cooler? Oh. What's a, a walk-in cooler? Yeah. It's like your own like a beer restaurant. Cage, yeah. yeah, like a restaurant like, quality like, huge walk-in cooler. Would I buy that? Yeah. Uh, I don't think I need that. No, okay. I, like a refrigerator is fine for me. <laughs> All right, good. Next up, will you buy a racehorse? We just had the Kentucky Derby. Would you buy a racehorse? Um, no. I uh 
I may, uh, you know, I, w- I could see myself buying a horse to put on a farm just to for fun, okay. but not a racehorse. I don't, I'm not into that uh, Kentucky Derby stuff. All right, and and final thing, will you get a private jet? Will you have your own jet? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Maybe if I won the lottery, though. Yeah, so, that's right. right. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, what about the wedding? Does the wedding get bigger and better uh, now that... Uh... Yep. <laughs> yeah. All, all, everything that was like a uh, maybe is just I don't even get asked about anymore. So it just seems to get pushed right through. Well, yes, guys. Well, just get your uh, signing hand ready. Yeah, right. Yeah, and, uh, yeah it's, it's a lot of fun. Well, Jared, thanks for joining us. Congratulations. We look forward to the next uh, several years of Lions football. This team has gone to new heights. You and your teammates, we thank you all because this has been – it's uncharted territory for most of us. So um, keep it up, and we'll, we we look forward to a coming season. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. There thanks, he is, Jared. Jared Goff, joining us here on 97 Won the Ticket. What a great surprise. That was, awesome. that was great. Yeah.